Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is me farmer Envoy Stream and here we are going to do a deep dive of how to produce silage in Farm Simulator 22. If you're looking for, then please stay tuned. So, alright um, folks, here we are, we're going to do a little deep dive in how to produce silage in Farm Simulator 22. To produce silage, there is different ways of doing this, but basically you either need grass or chaff. So, I'm going to break this down into little sections here. And so first of all, we need to plant it. So, for example, you need to plant grass, or you can plant a few other crops like sunflower, corn, or even with some cereal grains in that to produce chaff or grass respectively. So if we hop into here, we've got the cedar here, so you can plant your corn, not sorry, your corn. So you plant your wheat, barley, oats and all that. For corn or sunflower, you'll need a planter. So here we are, we've got corn, sunflower, soybeans and all the rest in that. So once you've picked what you want to do, you need to obviously put it to the ground, let it grow, and then once it's done, it's ready to be processed. So over here, we've got two bunker side clamps. So we've got one here, which is empty, we're going to fill up, and another one here that is full. So if I open the help menu here, I see we've got silage here. So this is all being fermented. So what we're going to do is going to open it. And what this will do is open that either end as well. And to open the rest of this, you'll need to actually go in, collect the silage, and then the rest of this will open up. We'll get to that in a moment. So we've got, for this little video here, let's get rid of that. We've got wheat, sorghum, always got grass as well. We've got corn, and last we've got sunflower, so. There's a few options to do, but first of all, you need to produce chaff. So we'll go over that. So there's a few ways to do it. You can use a mower or a forage harvester of sort. So we're going to hop into the chrome mower here. Get you started. And we're just going to squeeze our way out of here. And basically, you can use like a mower like this, which is all in one unit. Or what you can do. So we go to our vehicles, the mower can be found under mowers. So you've got Chrome Big M450, which we're using. Or you've got the IBCC66, which is a push mowing, push mower. Or you can get a front and rear attachment. So for example, you can use the Ponder Nova Cat setup here, the 301 and the A10. The 301 will go on the front section of the three point hitch, and an A10 will go on the back. So, what this will do is so, for example, let's use John Deere here. So, the front mower will cover pretty much the front area of the tractor, and then the rear end will cover sort of the wider part. So, for example, you've got different working whips, so you've got 8.3. 10 meters or you can have a side mower like some of these over here and it will produce a swath on either side depending on how you set it up but just for this video we're going to use a chrome big m and what we're going to do we'll open the help menu here and we're going to unfold the mower so we're going to position ourselves over this little bump here and then we're going to lower this and this will lower a little. There we go. So now we are producing a swath. So this is what basically is still grass. But once you've picked it up, you can either use a front loader or a loading wagon or forage wagon, should I say? Sorry. So yeah, obviously we've got wide spreading as our mode. However, if you don't want to do this and you want it in a nice big swath pile in the middle. All you have to do is press R1 and L3 
then you've got swath drop in, and this will pick it all up and I'll drop a nice little swath in the middle. So there's no need to wind road it or whatever. Or we can select a left swath, which would be our right, or facing this way, it would be that left. So if you're driving four like this, right would, would produce a swath on the left, and left would produce a swath on the right. So now we've got right swath. And then back to white spread in, and then swath drop in. Sorry about the light texture, it's a little flickering, that is not me, that's just the map. So yeah, you can get creative with this and just create a nice big swath pile. And now what I'm going to do, we're going to pick this up, so... We're going to hop over here, we're going to grab the John Deere. And the loader wagon will be this. So as you can see here, there's two symbols here. There's one at the bottom which is going to be what goes into here, or the second one is here. This is what you can add to increase the yield of your chaff and that, or your silage. So if we go to the help menu section, and we go to improve yield, Oh, sorry, let's go down here where it'd be two. No, the other chaff and slice. So, if we go down this will there we go. So, chaff is made by chopping up crops or picking up windrows and that. Now, if we go to the bottom, it says filling bond slice into a forage harvester increases the yield by another five percent. So, this is the thing with FS2, there are lots of ways to increase the yieldage. For example, with your grass, you can roll it first of all, I'll give you a 5% increase in yieldage so we haven't got it selected on the loading wagon here so what we're going to do is we'll get this down here first of all just minus this little bump over here there we go so yes if we press L1 and circle to lower the pickup then we're going to turn the loading wagon on and what this will do it picks it up via here so that picks up, that gets into the trader, and then you can just pick this up, and then what you can do is you can dump this into your bunker site clamp. You can have a either replaceable one, like what I've got over here, or you can get a the biogas plant at the main map. So for example, on Elm Creek, the biogas plant is over here, and this will have some huge bunker site clamps. But if you don't want a huge one, there are some options which we'll go over in a moment. So, there we go, we've got about 8,000 years, that'll be enough for now. So, we'll pick it up, turn off the lunar wagon, and we're just going to drive up here and into the bunker silo clamp. So, I'm just going to go up here, there we go. And then, all we have to do is simply drive in, excuse my driving. And as you can see, we've got the help menu open, it says fill level chaff, that's how much the volume of the bunker side clamp is. For the small one, um, it's pretty much similar to what we've got over here, this is 303,000, 308, sorry. Perhaps squeeze another 52,000, but that's when you need to get clever with compaction and all that. So, what we have to do is press L1 and R1. And we'll go to unload. There we go. And that's what we've got over here. So that is our chaff. You can see the difference in texture. So grass is like a darker green, but a lighter green is the chaff. I don't know why that sort of mechanic is still like that. Yeah, perhaps a little bug there with the equipment while that is showing, but yeah. So that is one way to make chaff. However, you can use a forage harvester. So there's actually a couple of steps you can do. You can either go with the big ones that we've got over here, like the John Deere, or if you want to be a bit different, you can get a, like a forage harvester that goes to the front of a tractor. So this we've got the case 340 here. And so if we go to our equipment here. If we go to forage harvester headers, so we've got the Local Tech LH2. 
and we've got the camper 345 plus and on this will be fine under tools go to forage harvester headers and at the left so we've got the local tech and you have got a few other options so you can use this you can use different headers and that depending on the setup but if you don't know what to use simply go to the local tech press R3 and it shows you the combination so in this case it recommends the camper 345 and a weight and that is important because if we go to what we've got here we'll turn this baby on it is very front heavy so for example sound the brakes on okay it's not it's not doing it this time but it will tip forward there we go see that back wheel's coming up however if you can be clever enough and drive carefully it won't tip and if you get a loading wagon hooked up to it and uh, what we're going to do we're going to unfold this Ooh. so now we've got a little forage harvester set up we've got a header that can chop out to make chaff we've got a pipe that spills out into the trailer so simply turn it on by pressing L1 and square and now we're making chaff so we can get the worker cracking on with that so that's one way of doing a forager harvester or the second one which is my personal favourite is use some of this big equipment here but that is pretty expensive so let's tab over to the right one there we go but yeah these forage harvesters can be found in vehicles go to forage harvesters and yeah you can see these are pretty expensive so you can obviously lease this if you want to 19 grand to lease it but then of course you'll need a header and again if you don't know press r3 over your selected forage officer and you've all got different sizes and that so you could go with a 345 which is a 4.5 meter working width or go with what we got the 390 which is 9 meters 7.5 6 and so on so you can use the forage harvester for sunflower or corn or you can use it for other things actually let's get an actual tray hooked up to this because if you don't oh it will just chuck the chaff out the back and into the ground so I'm just going to back up go up to the burger man here go pipe out might actually help that so sometimes Depending on what pipe depth you're going with, it may cause a little collision, so the best thing to do is put the pipe out first of all. So if we go down here, this is our sorghum. So just to demonstrate, there we go. See so we're chopping up the sorghum, and that now is chaff. Obviously this won't work with every crop type, so if we go to our main selection, Go to forage harvester headers and let's go with the John Deere 360. So this could do corn, wheat, barley, oats, canola, soybean, sorghum, or sunflower. So that is the only crop types you can use to make chaff. So and that's a bit different. Obviously, we had something like this in FS19, but I don't think we had it as a base game. I could be wrong with that. But yeah, you can see we've got chaff now, so we're going to leave this running for a little bit and I'll come back in a moment when we are done here. So there we go, we've got a bit of chaff here and what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect this combination at the front. Then we're just going to simply drive up and then put it into the bunker silo. there we go let's just do that and simply unload and this again will drop it and as you can see at the bottom right we got compaction which surprisingly enough on FS2 making silage is a bit easier obviously with the whole compaction in that so there we go it's down to 16% now it just updated itself so now you'll need to compact it and you can either do it this a couple of ways you can use a leveler or you can use a compactor so 
if you go to the main screen and if we go down to levelers so you've got different levelers over here that you can use it says levers are used to move chaff and site and level the heaps in the silos that's why to sort of just pretty much level the terrain so it's not all hilly and bumpy but also you've got a silo compactor and this is basically roller so different options but my personal favorite is the weber my dsc 180 I only discovered this later on in FS19 before FS22 came out. But what this will do is mechanically spin the roller, just simply drive over the chaff and that will compact it. Or another option of compaction is simply get something that's big and heavy and drive over it. So this could be a tractor or it could be a small tractor with some weight. So my personal favourite I use on FS19 is so Something like this, ADCO 2300, that is 2.3 tonnes, I can see by the weight on the bottom of the screen. Get two of those hooked up to a tractor and simply drive over it. Or another option, is this is a leveller, this is the Pretty of the Little Wolf Agri Power, Agri Power, sorry. And this is a beast of a machine, <laughs> this is, so this can be fine under vehicles and miscellaneous. So again, this is a classified as a leveller. That's how they would get a nice big pile of silage over there. So what we have to do is simply unfold it. And then press L1 and then you've got different options. So using the right um, analog set, go left and right. That will adjust the position. Up and down will be the height and R1 and right analog stick is to tilt in and L1 and R1 would do nothing so let's just get us no words and there we go simply just push and like I see it levels it off sometimes you have to sort of be finagle with the analog stick to get it all nice and leveled obviously this is starting to go out to the edge which is not an issue so as long as the so if you go look at the size over here, so because everything was within the side clamp, when you cover it, it will cover it, so. But also this does act like as a weight, because this is a big hefty equipment. And since weight is a factor in FS32, and you can see, look, even though this is a small amount of chaff, that compaction is going up very quickly. We're just going to keep on doing this, and I'll bring it back folks in a second here, once this is fully compacted. And there we are, it is fully compacted. There's a little bit over the edge, and that is intentional, so I can show you what I mean when you cover it. So, obviously, all you have to do is cover it, let it ferment for about 24 hours, and then you'll get silage. Or, there's another way to make silage, which is via bell wrapping, so... Obviously, we've got some bells here already. However, let's say if you haven't got bells already, you have to mow the grass, then you have to wrap it, and that will make silage. So, what we'll do is we'll grab a John Deere and we'll go ahead and bathe it. And this could be done via square bales or round bales, depending on what bell type you prefer and as well what tools you've got, because some wrappers will only do square bells or round bells or some would do both so if we go to our tool section go to bell wrapper so we've got four as part of the base game so new mod so we've got the cavern land which will only do round bells or you've got the kun one which will do round and square bells and also you've got the anson one part of the anson pack on fs19 so one would do only round bells and the other one would do round or square bell. So that's how you wrap it. To bathe it, you'll need a bather. So you've got tons of bell options here. So you've got big ones, you've got small ones, all different shapes and sizes. But if you're going to use the big ones, don't use the biggest bather, which is the 240 centimeter bather, or bell, sorry. That is because it won't wrap if you do it that way. Because you see, unless you're using the Anderson one, you can wrap big square bales to 40 centimeters, but 
if you use any of the other ones, like this one here, this won't do. So just keep an eye on that. Uh, for round bells, 125 to 180. And if you go to our beaters, so yeah, round bells, it's basically you'll go is 180. You can produce little tiny 125 ones. So you'll use a beater, then a wrapper, or there's a couple of options where you can belt and wrap at the same time. And as part of the base game, we've got two. We've got the class Roland 455 Uni Wrap, and this will bell, bait it, and wrap it at the same time. And of course, you can have different color options so black, pink, green, or the basic white. But to make size bells, you'll need to use grass. If you bell hay or straw, actually, sorry, you can use hay, sorry, if you use straw, it won't wrap it so let's go and get an example of that so let's go and use the bell and wrapper set we've got over here so that's what we've got over here then we'll get some grass and let's just go and head and test it so those bells over there are hay and we'll have a look to see if they can actually wrap or not so to bail with it, simply press L1 and circle to do a pickup, and L1 and square to turn on the beater. And as you can see, we are getting grass bells. Oh sorry, grass into the beater. So this may take some little time, depending on what size bells you're going for. I'm sticking with the 125, or you can go up to the 180 if you wish. So yeah, let me go get some bells made up here, and then I'll bring it all back folks in a moment. Right, we've got some bells made up, so for example, we bailed this one, which is the biggest one, 7,500 litres. And this won't wrap, you can see it's too big for the wrapper. However, if we go down here, we've got a couple of bells that have been wrapped. So for example, we've got the small one, 3,500 litre grass bell. And we've got the 5500 litre grass bell. And you can see on that bottom right corner of the screen where it says bale, it's fermenting. So you have to wait before this can be used as a silage bell. At the moment, it's still a grass bell. But give it some time, this will convert to a silage bell. Turn it off. And to demonstrate that you can't use hay to wrap it. We tab over tool, get the right one, there we go, so we've got the bell wrapper here, we've got some bells unloaded, so we're going to unfold the beater, we'll turn on automatic drop, so if this works, which it won't, it will automatically drop it, so if we go drive closely, you can see here it's not letting us bail, it's not letting us pick these up, so and if we knock this over, it will say bell type is not supported, or it just won't do it at all. So that means it won't wrap these bells up. So that's the thing to note. So if you want to do size bells, only I don't think as part of the base game on FS22 you can do that. But on FS19, obviously you had. The combi bay of setup, which can hook up to the back of a forest officer, get chaffs, chuck into the bin, and then it'll bait it at the same time. But as part of the base game, you can't do that as of yet, as far as I'm aware. So that's the, what we're going to show is another way to put grass or hay as chaff. That is why this. You may recognize this is the animal feeder mixer wagon. So what we're going to do is we're going to simply drive up to this, turn this baby on, and as you can see we're chopping these bells up and it's spinning out into the back of the forest mixer. Obviously this will be one of your components to produce TMR which will be covered in another video. So there we go, 8,000 years that will do. All you have to do is simply drive forward. Knock a few bells over. Apologise for my driving. There we go. So simply drive up and then you'll select tip side right for this. 
and then simply unload. And there we go. And now that will need compacted again, so you can see it's 80% compacted, or 79 before we get our 100%. Make two more passes are needed. Oh no, one more pass. So there we go, we're at 100% compaction. So now we'll get this out of here. And now we'll cover it. And it's fully covered. And you can see a bit of stuff here spitting out. So that won't be fermenting. So when you're going to pick this up, you've got to be careful you don't pick this up. So if you're using a load of magnets example, make sure you drive over it first of all. Because if you pick this up first of all, pick up the chaff. Depending on the percentage and depends on the capacity of said pickup wagon, um, it won't pick up the silage. So now let's fast forward another 24 hours. So here we are. So now we've got the silage and now we need to unload it. So there's a few ways you can do this. One way is simply with a front loader or a wheel loader with a bucket. So we can drive forward here. There we go, so we'll simply go forward, I can see it starts to open up, so that's 4,000 litres of silage, and then you can simply dump it onto the ground, put it into the biogas plant if you've got the BGA close by, or you can put it into a trailer and then send it off wherever you want, into a silo of your choice, to sell even. So that's one way, and I'll show you how we can use that work with how high this pile is and the angle but let's say you've got a shallow one like this when you uncover it you can drive over it and then pick up the loading wagon so let's go and give this a try if I know this is going to fail so as I said before lower pickup turn on the loading wagon and simply drive forward and it may pick it up see it's picked up some of the chaff so yeah it's too steep of an angle, so what we're going to do, we're going to fast forward 24 hours, and this will be ready. So, I see it's at 1% formation, so once this is done, we can quickly demonstrate this. September was raining, and I wanted something a bit clearer to show you folks. So yeah, it takes 24 hours to ferment silage. So now this is all fully fermented, we'll simply uncover this turn this on and now we'll simply start driving over it and it will pick it up so we'll go from the other direction to start off with so let's go ahead and do that and yes this seems a little bit it's not complicated it may require a bit of finessing so let's get some of these pieces moved out of the way or you can use a belt system like the conveyor belt systems that we've got on FS-22, you can use that to pick this up, which I will demonstrate in a moment, so... I'm just going to move that over. And simply move this out of the way. Or to be honest, you can use the leveler to just push the silage out, if that is your wish. So, make sure this is turned off. So, we'll go and simply drive forward. Back this baby up. And then simply drive forward and pick this up. So you can see we've got silage. So yeah, sometimes it won't open this the, the silo. So if that happens, the best thing to do is get like a front loader or something and use it that way. And the front loader will open up the silo clamp. So yeah, it's a bit of finessing into a tree directly onto the ground somewhere a bit further away, the biogas plant, or into a auger wagon, potentially. So yeah, let me get that set up for a moment, and then I'll show you folks what I'm on about. So for our last demonstration, to pay up silage, we've got a nice little setup here. So we've got the Lizard S110, that will pick up the silage from here. Now I'll dump it into here, into one of these conveyor 
pipes. They'll go up and go into the trailer and at this time none of the bigger traders that you can use a truck will take silage. So this one takes silage. Some of these will, some of these won't. It depends on the trade. So for example, what we're using is the Kiwico Radium 255 that will take silage, which is that third from the right symbol, that two white prongs and a little heat between the straw and the hay. So yeah, so for example, the Low King won't accept it. I'm sure there will be mods coming out soon, within the next week or so, week, months even, that will have a semi trailer that will accept signage. So, at the sign, this is what we're stuck with. But, so let's get this run, shall we? So, so let's go and enter this. So, if we have the help menu open, start the engine. So, that will start working. And then go into here, start the engine, and now we'll turn on the conveyor belt. And that will tip in, it's a bit finagly, so you've got to be precise of how you do it. And as you can see, our side is going in, it's going up here, and it's loading into the trailer. And that is a very nice little setup, to be honest, if I have to say so myself. And this would be good for many options, let's say if you're on uneven terrain or you just want it to get farther away so you can have a little looping system. Because obviously with the aerial mechanics in FS2, in theory, you can have this on an auto load loop. So, so, for example, this should work. Yeah, load and deliver. Let's say, actually, whether or not this would do it. Or perhaps if we deliver, say, to the biogas plant and we'll loop it. Ah, it's unreachable, that's because we didn't own the biogas plant. But let's say, if we have a biogas plant over here, this could potentially loop it to the biogas plant, dump it somewhere in the pile and then come back. Because obviously, at the time of recording this, there's no biogas plant that you can simply unload from the trailer. So... Yeah, it sort of has its limitations of how it works, but yeah. So you sort of get the sort of gist of things, and that is just drunking away. Obviously, every so often you would have to move this little setup here as it starts to empty, but this is pretty much a semi automation setup. Just let it run and be. You can harvest more chaff and that and silage and that. I'm oh, sorry, more chaff for the silage, so yeah. That is a neat little setup here. So yeah, that's going to be it for me today. Sorry for about the length of this. I just want to give an in-depth video of how sites work and how you can use it. And then obviously you can use the sites to make TMR or sell it or whatever. So yeah, that's going to be it for me today. I hope you found this helpful and informative in some way, shape or form. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. Not scroll the channel yet, then please consider. But very choose to do. Hope everyone has a nice day. But for now, this is the farm Evolution Stream, and I'll see you all very soon.